So we've been saying to you, some of you liked the analogy that all of this desire is gathered in what we've been calling a vortex of creation. It's the vibrational version that exists before it manifests into your experience. And we've been saying things to you like when you're in the vortex, when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, when you're up to speed, when you're a vibrational match to this vortex, then you feel wonderful because there's no resistance within you that is complicating things, that is contradicting things, that is adding static to the equation. You're in the vortex, you feel wonderful. It was such a good analogy, we wrote some books about it. Get in the vortex, get in the vortex, get in the vortex. You finally sent out a collective cry, how? Where is it? I can't see it. It's an imaginary circle that you draw in the air. What is this vortex? And we say it's this conceptual, but real, vibrational state of being. And today we're wanting to say to you that you've accumulated enough in this vortex to keep yourselves busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes. Really, it's time to get in there and cash in your chips. And so now we're explaining to you, and it's sort of where we started many years ago, but with more vivid explanation and you're getting it in a more powerful way. We want you today and forevermore, which is forever, your eternal beings to focus upon your point of attraction your point of attraction and by that we mean let's clarify it your point of manifestation now your point of attraction has already occurred you sifted and declared you sifted the contrast and came to conclusions you launched these rockets and they exist you have created a vibrational reality you have but you want it's the reason you're here in these bodies you want the manifested version of it you don't want a virtual lover we know you don't you don't want virtual money you want the spendable kind and so the way it moves from that vibrational place into your manifested experience where you can explore the deliciousness of it the specifics of it and where maybe even others who are sharing your time space reality may witness your creation of it in order to do that you have to take personal deliberate control of your grid of your point of attraction so as we use the word grid today and we will a lot what we're talking about is your point of attraction and your point of attraction is happening all the time whether you know that it is or not in other words whatever you've been giving your attention to you've offered a vibration about and as you offer a vibration about it law of attraction makes it easier to offer more vibrations about it a belief is just a thought you keep thinking and the beliefs that you hold make up the grid that you've got going on now we want to call your attention to this non-physical part of you this source energy part of you because that source energy part of you has a grid going on too and the goal what you really want what you want to do in any moment in time is to focus in such a way that causes you to offer a vibrational output which causes you to create a point of attraction which we are calling your grid a grid that lines up with the grid of the source within you and when all of that energy is flowing right up from the core of who you are now you have power now you have clarity now you are frisky now you are tuned in tapped in turned on now you have vitality now you have clarity now you have all of those things and the most important thing is that in that alignment with all that you are your point of attraction the evidence of it is wonderful to behold because when you click in with all of those things that you've been putting into your vortex then in a meaningful comfortable logical sequential path of least resistance way everything that you want to its smallest detail flows into your experience in what you experience as the next logical step it's just the next logical step not something that you're going nuts about it's the next logical step if you're in the vibrational vicinity of who you really are then the next logical step is for it to manifest 
and we want to appeal to your logic and then we're going to throw it open for you to talk about whatever you want to talk about but we want to appeal to your logic about your grid and about the movement of all that you've been gathering that has been assembled and that the cooperative components are already gathered around about the movement of all of this wonderful stuff that you've created flowing into your manifested experience we want to remind you that you don't want to eat all of the food that you will eat in this lifetime today you want to eat some of it today but you want it to come incrementally so that you can savor it and enjoy it yes and the same with the contents of your vortex you don't want it all today you think you do especially those things that you're standing in conscious awareness of the absence of oh Abraham I'll just take this and this and this and this and this today and we say it's coming it's coming at the speed and in the frequency and in the path of least resistance in complete and utter and only response to your vibrational tending to your grid to your point of attraction we think you've got it what do you want to talk about we're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you don't worry about it we will fill in the cracks we want you to know most important standing on your chair does not help <laughs> this gathering gathered before you dragged your physical bodies here and if you heard what we said then everything that you want to talk about collectively all kinds of people around the world participating with us here too everything that you've been thinking about that you want clarity about is in your vortex and it is our promise to you that the grid will fill in today with the specifics of what you want to know about so where to begin